Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Yatros, and I'm on a mission to help doctors free themselves from the tyranny of their EMR. That way you never have to create new EMR templates or change your workflow between the different places where you work. How you generate the text of your note doesn't matter so much. As long as you have a good note written somewhere, you're fulfilling your duty to document, so why not do it in a way that saves you time. So today I'm going to show you how to generate all of your notes using Excel. You will then just copy and paste it into a single text file in your EMR, so no more waiting for web-based EMRs to load in between every click you make, no more clicking on literally hundreds of boxes a day. So let's take a look. I'll show you the finished product first, and then in future videos I'll teach you how to build this from the ground up from the most basic SOAP note. Instead of just making a template available for you to download and use, I really think it's important for you to know how this is built so you can customize it to whatever you want. So in most of our appointments, especially in psychiatry, we ask patients about similar symptoms. Even in other specialties, there may be just a handful of common things you do a lot of. Since I'm a psychiatrist, I'll show you a typical workflow in a psychiatric appointment, but this can be used in any specialty. It's really easy to customize this template for different appointment types, so when you understand how it's built, you'll be able to create anything you want. So we're going to use a typical outpatient mental health note as our example here. So here's a quick panorama. You have the different symptoms you ask for. I'm going to scroll down here so you see the different parts of the note. And uh, we'll walk through it uh, together in detail. Uh, each column is a separate visit. Part of the reason why I like this workflow so much is that months later you might be seeing your patient and wondering um, how they were doing in previous visits, even years before. So it's really easy to just compare different symptoms visit to visit. Even in your medication list, you'll be able to just compare visit to visit. For simplicity, I just created a template where the medication list is the same. Down here in the previous trials tab, you can keep a log of everything your patient has tried, different details. It's really easy to know what the person was taking at any point in time and uh, to see what combination they were using. The other thing I like about this is that if you ever need to do a prior authorization, everything is already here. You copy the gray box, you paste it into your prior authorization. Really easy. I also have an intake uh, tab here that I didn't fill out. It's very similar to the uh, follow-up um, tab. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll walk you through this in more detail once we, um, once we start creating this template in a future video. But for now, let's just take a look at a typical progress note. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so it's a bit easier. So, um, you know, you can see that we already have a few visits here. And let's suppose it's now time for us to see the patient again. So I'm gonna copy this column, paste it here. Give today's date. And, you know, typically I'll just delete everything uh, that I'll be asking the patient about. So here in the subjective, I'll type something that the patient is uh, updating me about. I can type something about stressors, what we talked about in therapy, and then go into a psychiatric review of systems here. Now it might happen that when I start the appointment, you know, I just give the patient room to, to start uh, updating me with, with what's going on. They might start telling me about, you know, maybe their anxiety, their sleep, concentration, and so forth. So I'm not obligated to just start the appointment in this box. I can just, you know, come to to the right uh, row here and, and uh, start typing an update. Uh, same thing for, you know, substance use and so forth. Um, you know, a lot of the diagnoses we treat are more or less stable over time. You know, you can come here and update it. And, uh, you know, typically you'll have a new plan. Since this patient is pretty stable, the plan looks very much the same. And, uh, you know, then you come here and just 
um, you know, do a new mental status exam. Um, finally, down here, uh, you can track their vital signs, um, uh, laboratory tests, if you want to briefly summarize it, I wouldn't, you know, recommend typing all their laboratory tests. If you work with an EMR that automatically populates your note with this stuff, you know, then this becomes unnecessary and you can just customize it um, to, to, you know, just create a node in your EMR that populates automatically, you just copy the rest in. Down here we can uh, have some scales and um, these are just, you know, miscellaneous CYA type statements, uh, you, you know, just check a box in the one you want to, um, to, to type. For example, if this patient smoked, I would just uh, put an X here saying that we addressed, um, we addressed tobacco use. If uh, this is a patient in reproductive age, you know, I might uh, just type it here. So um, once you finish uh, typing your note, uh, you know, you can, you can see that there's not uh, the need for, for you to update a lot of stuff. You can just come here, copy this box, um, then you open uh, your EMR. Let's pretend uh, Notepad is the EMR text window where I'm gonna paste this note and I just type it here. So you can see that there's a lot of stuff that was um, typed in this note that you know is not necessarily visible here. Uh, like these these headers and so forth, um, you know they correspond to these uh, headers like substance use, assessment plan, and so forth. But um, essentially, this way you have a very complete note. It has everything you need there. It has the you know legalese stuff here in the bottom. If you want to include it, you don't need to. Uh, I'm all for uh, succinct notes and. Um, and that's it, you know, you copy that into your EMR and uh, your note is done. So, um, like I said before, there are some ways in which this is superior to just using your EMR. Um, it's faster, it's way faster to type than to type full sentences. Um, it's also really easy to compare how the person is doing visit to visit or to compare scores from different clinical scales, visit to visit, and also to keep kind of a running log of what the person took. Because, you know, some of our patients have taken so many different medications, and once you're discussing new options with the patient, if they need a change, oh gosh, it's really hard to just keep relying on your memory or flipping through notes, especially, with, you know, again, with these EMRs that are so web-based, uh, it's just torture to, you know, open each separate note, essentially waiting for a web page to, um, to open. So like I said, you can customize this in a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, you might have to learn some Excel formulas, but that's not going to be hard. And with, and with each uh, visit, you'll use one of the gray boxes up top just to copy and paste your finished note. Another huge advantage of this, um, this workflow is that you don't have to fill every single box. When you use other templates like handwritten notes, if you didn't fill something out, it doesn't look good. Um, you, you, know, you shouldn't leave blanks in your notes. Even if you use uh, you know, a word template or something like that, whatever you didn't fill out, it's still gonna be there. So for example, let's suppose if this new visit with the patient was really just about, um, you know, a brief update or essentially a therapy session. So I might write here something like uh, stable, no significant changes in symptoms. And that should be enough. Stressors, you know, maybe I didn't uh, want to write something like that. And here in the therapy session, I want to, you know, just have a brief statement of what we talked about, for example, in our session, we talked about difficulties in relationship with neighbor and provided support. 
you know that's that might be okay for a typical therapy note i know you know some people write a lot more in therapy notes less is more and let's suppose if i didn't ask about a lot of this stuff maybe i asked the patient about sleep and they said uh, with the normal limits um, i asked them about the the appetite they said normal um, no weight changes and you know i usually uh, ask about adherence good and they told me no side effects i took the time to just ask the patient for an update about substance use nothing new and uh, there's nothing new we need to to do here so that would be my note you're going to see that there's a lot of blank uh, rows here so when i copy this and i'm gonna open a new uh, emr mock emr window here and um, you're gonna see that a lot of um, apologize this is so small isn't it uh, so you're gonna see that um, compared to the previous note where there's a lot of review of system stuff here this one doesn't have much it has the interval history a brief statement of what we talked in therapy and a brief review of systems so um, that's pretty much it the last thing I'll mention briefly, I'm not going to really demonstrate how to do it now, but there are ways to automate with Excel macros to automate this uh, process of, you know, creating a new note and updating the date here. You know, let's suppose this is a, a different month. Um, but, um, you know, for our purposes, just good old copy and paste is fine. There are a few other um, ways to even automate the copy and paste process into the EMR a bit more. But for today, I just wanted to show you what we want our finished product to look like. And uh, in our next video, we're going to start with just a plain old soap note. So thank you so much for watching. This process made me more efficient, has saved me a ton of time, and I'm giving people better care. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video and I'll see you soon.